Good morning and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is so nice to be with you this morning for a few minutes. Let us give attention to the word of the Lord for this day. And the passage we have read on Tuesday is the word I have for you today also. <clears throat> I have considered two points from that passage. And the first was the time of the second call. And that means when the famine began, God called Elijah and sent him to the brook. That was the first. And the second call was when the brook completely dried, the Lord's voice came again and God spoke to him. Rise up and you go to Sarafat. Sarafat, about, about 100 miles from the place where he was. In this scorching heat, walking through the wilderness kind of land. You can imagine. And the third thing that we, I see here is the promise. When God called him a second time to go to a second place, leaving the brook because the brook dried, he has given a promise that when you reach Zarephath, I have already commanded a widow to feed you. That is an unexpected source. You know, in fact, the first source also was, was unexpected. The source was very unexpected. He had water, but there was no means. And whom did or what did God choose to bring? meals to him, bread and meat, a raven. Among all the birds, ravens are greedy and you cannot expect anything from him. He can snatch away things from you. But every day, faithfully, one raven brought bread and meat, morning and evening. And now the promise says, I have this time commanded a widow to feed you. A widow to sustain you. The prophet thought certainly she must be a wealthy lady. So I have to find this lady when I reach, arrive at Sarafat. God's command to the ravens have not failed him, he thought. And God's command to the widow also will not fail him. Isn't that wonderful to realize about our God? Now how the message came to this widow, we do not know. She was not a Jew. And so, how this widow received God's message? Let us not speculate anything. We do not know. But it came. She knew. And so the next thing to consider is the test. Elijah came looking for a wealthy widow, probably. Instead, he found a starving, dying woman with her son ready to die after one more frugal supply of meal. God's ways are always mysterious and also very, very amazing. Her circumstance seems to contradict the command. What was her circumstance? Absolutely no flour enough to make several breads for several days. There isn't even the oil. 
enough. And she was gathering a few sticks. That was her circumstance. To cook a handful of meal. The woman's circumstance and Elijah's circumstance seem to make the word of God of a none effect. I mean, how could we expect? But he, Elijah, rose above the circumstance and counted God who has promised to sustain him faithful to do what he has promised. Remember this always. We we'll have to, if we follow the God of the Bible, Jehovah God, whatever the word of the Lord is telling us, instructing us to do, never hesitate to do because he who has promised is faithful. How? When? That's not your question. These are him to deal with. He has his ways and he will do what he said he would do. And so out of that faith came those words to the widow. Whatever he spoke to the widow. He said, give me little bread. And then she told her, what her circumstances. And then ultimately, the Bible here says she went and did what Elijah told her to do. She believed the word. Now that seemed to me a confirmation of the fact of what God told Elijah that I have commanded. Somehow within her she knew she could not disobey. She has to obey. And so she went and did exactly what Elijah told her. And therefore, my friends, always remember never question and never doubt the word of the Lord. To Elijah, the word of the Lord came when the brooks dried. To begin with, the first command was to go to that place near the brook and stay at there. And almost a year he stayed. And then the brooks dried completely. And then the second time God called him, go to Zarephath, 100 miles away in the scorching heat, walk. I have commanded a widow to feed you. And he had no hesitation. He immediately obeyed because he knew that the Lord who sustained him nearly a year at the brook will definitely sustain him there in Zarephath through that widow. So he rose above the circumstance and obeyed God's word. And the woman also rose above the circumstance and obeyed what the man of God told her to do. And here is the secret of God's marvelous provision. And my friends, in your own life, you may be going through a circumstance where similar to this. Do not be afraid. Just be obedient to whatever God told you. He is still alive, he is there, and he will listen to you. God's blessing be upon you today. This is a great day. Holy Spirit of God, I know that we need the Holy Spirit in order to do 
what seems to be a foolish thing to do but when you tell us to do anything it always looks foolish but we know the outcome of it the obedience thank you lord in jesus name amen